Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for Schengen visa for Czech Republic step by step. But before start, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media. And if you have any question or inquiry, you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram. If we will look together, so basically this is the general application form for a Schengen visa. Let's check together uh, this form. You will have first to print it and to start filling it uh, manually. Here in this part, you'll have to write your surname and here you'll write also your surname at birth, your first name, whatever that uh, data that you don't know, you don't have to fill uh, the date of birth, the place of birth, your country of uh, birth, your current nationality, or if you have any other uh, nationality. Here you will have to fill male or female, your civil status if you are single, married, registered partnership, uh, separated, divorced, whatever uh, status is you'll have to write. Then uh, the parental authorities if ca in case if you are a minor or uh, something and you uh, your legal guardian you will have to write uh, the surname and the first name of your legal guardian if you are a minor and the phone number and the email address and the nationality also here you will have to write your ID number from your national identification uh, number after that you will start with the type of your travel document in general it will be ordinary passport but you if you are a holder of any other passport like diplomatic passport you will have to write it and if you have any other travel document you will have to be you will have to specify here uh, after that you will start with the number of your travel documents the date of issue and the expiry date also it's valid until which date and it is issued by which country here if you have uh, any personal data of the family member who is in uh, european union uh, or a citizen there you can have to you you'll have to write the surname of that family member or first name of that family member and uh, the date and the date of birth of such number of uh, the nationality of such member and the identification uh, number of such member but if you don't have you don't have to fill it only fill it if you have a family member who is in the european union then the family relationship with an uh, european union uh, citizen if applicable so you have to write it if uh, applicable then you will have to write your uh, the applicants home address and email address you will have to write to write your own home address and your email address and your phone number uh, also uh, okay here we also you will have to write as a residence in which uh, country you are applying for uh, for uh, the visa are you applying from your own country or you are applying from other country here uh, you will have also to write your current occupation what you are doing right now what kind of job you are doing right now and here you will have to give some information about your employer the employer address the phone number and if you are a student you will have to give the name and the address of your educational establishment if it is a school or a university here you'll give the purpose of your journey are you traveling for tourism for business visiting family friends culture sport whatever purpose is you will have to fill it and here are some additional information on purpose of a stay you will have to give those information also if you have anything you would like to add you can just write it right here and the member state of main uh, destination and other member state of destination if applicable and member state of first entry uh, also you have to write uh, the name of such state here the number of entries requested do you want a single entry two entries multiple entries and also here this part for the finger uh, prints have your your fingerprints being collected previously 
for the purpose of applying for a Schengen visa, you will uh, write yes or no, depend, uh, uh, depending on your uh, situation. The entry permit for the final country of destination where, uh, where applicable, if it is applicable also, it will be issued by and valid from that day to that day. The surname and first name of the inviting person, if you have an inviting a person you will have to write his surname or first name if not applicable you will have to write the name of the hotel the hotel or the hostel or your uh, accommodation uh, establishment where you will be staying in uh, the country in which hotel in which place uh, you will have also to give the address and the email address of the inviting person or the head or the hotel or the temporary accommodation and also you will have to give the telephone number here also you will have to give the name and address of uh, the inviting company and organization if uh, applicable also because if you are not invited by a company or organization you don't have to give any details about it and here are the surname first name uh, or of uh, of contact uh, of contact of per of any person from this company or organization here you'll give also telephone number of such person from such company or organization cost of traveling and living during uh, the, app uh, the applicant's stay is uh, covered how are you going to cover your own stay are you going to cover it by yourself or by a sponsor if you are going to cover it by yourself you have to check this box and you have to write how by cash credit card or which mean or if someone invited you a host or company you will have to uh, fill uh, the mean of support they will provide to you uh, in the end you will have to sign to read first this declaration and after reading this declaration you will have to write the place uh, from where you are applying and the date uh, of your uh, application or filling this form and here you will have to write uh, your name and your signature or if you are a minor your legal guardian will be signing this uh, in your behalf and we have checked together how to fill this application form step by step by yourself in order to download the visa application form you can go to the visa information section over here and choose the visa type for example tourist visa and once you choose tourist visa here from download the form you can download all the visa forms from here easily speaking about the schengen visa fees the fees are 80 euros for adults and for children between 6 to 12 years of age the fees are 40 euros and of course you can uh, transfer this amount to your local uh, currency for example in usd dollars it equals to 87 now and if you want it also in indian rubies or in Pakistani rubies or uh, in Egyptian bound or in Indonesian rupiah or in Turkish lira so uh, the fixed amount is the 80 uh, euros and it changes of course uh, depending on your country and uh, depending on the uh, exchange rate right now so how to apply for this visa vfs global is the office responsible of processing and receiving applications for this visa what you need to do is in this section you need to choose your country where you are applying from if you're applying from india pakistan egypt or whatever your country is and in this section you need to uh, select the country you are applying for if you're applying for austria or Belarus, uh, Bulgaria, Canada or whatever this country is and after uh, choosing your selection click here take me to the website once this page is open in front of you click here book now and then once again click book now and in the section you need to sign in this website and to choose uh, the place of the office inside your country and the perfect time that you need to submit all the documents for this visa in this section we will speak about all the documents that you will need to apply for any visa but before we start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and if you have any question 
added in the comment section down there or contact me at my account at Instagram. The first document that you will need is your passport. Make sure that your passport is valid for six months and at least two pages are empty for the stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear. You will also need photocopies of your passport. Make sure that you have at least three photocopies and mainly they will ask for a photocopy for the data pages but sometimes the foot a photocopy of the stamps and the other visas in your passport will be required. You will also need a personal picture. Make sure that your picture is new, not older than six months and it's preferred that your picture be with a white background except if they tell you something else and your face details must be clear in your picture. You will have to submit a visa application form. It could be online or filled by computer then printed and signed or printed then filled manually then signed. All depend on the kind of the visa you're applying for. You will have also to submit a proof of status. If you are an employee, you will need to submit an HR letter signed from your company stating your position and your salary and all the details of your company. If you are the business owner, you need to provide all uh, the documents that prove that you have your own business. If you are a student, then you will need to submit uh, an admission letter from your university. If you are a minor, you need a letter of permission from your parents and if you are jobless then you will need to uh, prove uh, your source of fund. You will need to provide a proof of legal status only if you are applying from another country. So if you are traveling as a tourist or visitor or working in another country then you will have to submit either a visa or uh, a residence permit in this country. A proof of funds is also required. It could be a bank statement and it should cover at least the last, the last six months of your account and it should be signed and stamped from your bank. You will be asked sometimes to submit a flight reservation and it should be a round trip and it could be either a confirmed ticket or a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them confirm a ticket and also a dummy ticket. There are many websites that you can use for booking your flight uh, ticket and in this uh, video we will use kayak site of course there are many other sites uh, like skyscanner and you can also book directly from a flight company itself. So here let's assume okay our flight is return so it's like round of flight and only for one adult and our decision from Cairo, let's say to Karachi, Pakistan, and let's use the dates. Okay, these dates are fine. Search. And now the site is searching for the flights. There are many expensive flights, but we will try to find cheap one. So we can see this flight. Okay, click here for the cheapest. This flight from Lethad is very cheap. So we will need to view the details of this flight just click over view details okay and we will be directed to this website budget air where we will have to make our booking okay I accept this is a site okay I already used the flight now I have to fill my details as the passenger and this is the price in uh, the Emirate uh, Durham but we already knew the price in US dollars here we need to fill our details all our details name your name date of birth and whatever whatever just as an example i just want to show you how to make a booking using this random site and okay okay we have to fill more details here in this section uh you can pay more money so uh, in case you want to cancel your your trip 
you can uh, get full fund okay passenger number expiry date okay that number okay and then click next now here my contact details you need to fill your contact details okay i have to fill these sections Street, address line postal code city email retype the email and the phone number then next okay and you can pay for your flight now we have uh, to choose again okay this is the main price don't pay i don't want to pay any extra money you just choose it they keep remind uh, reminding you do you want to pay extra money for uh, a full refund and down there i will choose my booking i will choose the basic one because there is no extra charges i'm just trying to find the cheapest way and then click down there no thanks and then next and right now i am in the section where i have to make my payment first check your details my flight from here to there my details and in this section you need to fill uh, your credit card or visa card number and to make your payment then the ticket will be sent uh, to you by your uh, through your email so for those who want to learn how to make a dummy ticket not a confirmed ticket you can use this uh, website dummy ticket for making a dummy ticket and the whole idea behind a dummy ticket that once you make uh, a booking they buy the ticket for you with your details and they put it in on hold for 10 days or two weeks and after that your ticket will expire so it is a real ticket but it will expire after uh, a specific uh, period so you need to choose which ticket do you want uh, are you sure that you are going to travel then you make a confirmed ticket or are you still not sure and afraid that you will lose money so you make uh, a dummy ticket so right now to start making a dummy ticket i think we need to click over uh buy ticket this icon and in this section you have to choose the type of your ticket you want this ticket for applying for visa so we'll choose the first one and the price will be 19 us dollars and then down there we you will have to start filling all your details your name your surname your date of birth and so on okay then uh, uh, your travel details okay your departure date okay it's around the trip so from which city to which city your departure date your return date date and how you can also choose how you want to get this dummy ticket through email whatsapp or both of them and then you fill your billing details your personal details and down there you have to choose the way of paying for this ticket you can choose either paypal or debit and credit card just fill the details of your card 
and make your payment then you will receive your ticket uh, through either email or whatsapp a travel accommodation proof should also be provided sometimes it's asked to be confirmed sometimes it's okay to be an initial uh, booking uh, and sometimes some countries require you that this travel accommodation proof covers at least a third of your trip there are many websites for making a hotel booking but the most common website is booking.com you just need to choose your destination where to go uh, let's say Delhi New Delhi and then my check-in will be in these dates the first till the fifth for four nights and I want a place only for one adult all right done and start searching and you can see all the options down there and you can sort these options well, according to well, the price for example choosing the cheapest first so for example you can go for the cheapest prices first if you care about money and you can see many 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 cheap stuff uh, over here of course you can change the currency uh, from Egyptian bound to US, do uh, to US dollars uh, or any other uh, currency and you need also to check uh, like the rank of all these uh, rooms so let's say that I will choose this hotel just to click over it and then this page will appear in front of you you can see pictures of the place where you are going to stay and they will tell you the other things like there is Wi-Fi uh, there is a shower uh, there is AC so just go down there and now you can choose this is the price for four nights uh, and you can pay this number for one person or uh, another number for two person so yeah it's considered to be a very cheap price for two people now you can just select a room and once you select the room you will cl you, you will just click over I will reserve that you want to reserve this room all right and here in this section you will start filling all your details your detail over here all your details your name uh, uh, why you are traveling the reason of your trip and then once you finish it you go down there okay and then click over final details and once you click over it you don't have to pay of course because the payment will be in the property but you will have to confirm your booking and then they will send you a copy of your booking uh, through your email some countries especially European countries require you to provide a travel insurance so it should be made from a verified office or platform and as I told you it's not always necessary and it should cover your whole trip and some countries require you to uh, submit a travel insurance that covers a year and it should cover at least uh, 30,000 euros and that doesn't mean that its price should be 30,000 euro but I will clarify uh, to you when I teach you right now how to make a travel insurance there are many websites to make a uh, travel insurance uh, we are going to use AXA Schengen website for making this travel uh, insurance uh, so once you uh, get to the website you have just to choose you're making an insurance for only one person okay and you need to use the, the dates from which day to which day and then get code and you then will find many options like there are the offers the first one that can cover for 30 uh, thousand euros this is the good one and this is the one which is required by European Union for uh, 62 euros so 
this one is is very good but there are also other options like the other one with 70 it was 97 uh, euros and the other one for a full year for 30 for 328 uh, euros but uh, we will just go with uh, the first uh, option since it's uh, it, it is cheap and also uh, cover all uh, the essentials that we need right So just click over select and once you select it you get to this section where you will have to fill all your details and then click confirm and pay and once you click confirm and pay you will make your payment using your visa card visa card or mastercard and then you will receive this travel insurance through your email remember also that before applying for any visa you have to contact either the embassy or the application office and ask them if there is any extra documents required from you or is there is any uh, different documents or is there is any change in the visa application procedures because sometimes visa uh, procedure change from a country to another in the end please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media accounts and if you have any question or inquiry please write it down there at the comment section or contact me at my instagram